Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. My name is Abby and this is Spend More Time in the Wild. Today we're talking tents, the Huli 2 in fact. So this is a wild country tent. So wild country is very famous for the Zeph Ross and a lot of entry tents to backpacking. Um, and the Huli 2 is no exception. So it's a two person tent, it's a tunnel design as we'll see. It's designed for backpacking, it's designed for DOV type expeditions, 10 tours here in the UK. Um, a lot of people use it for that. Uh, so, yep, two person tent, hence the two. And uh, it is a uh, pitch with the inner and outer together, but we're gonna get into all of those features in a minute, hence me stumbling. <laughs> um, what I wanna talk about is, first of all, the retail price of this. So it's 220 pounds. So it's not the cheapest, you know, a lot of entry tents, uh, entry level tents are about 100, just under, but 220, so it's sort of mid range there with the price. Um, it weighs in at 2.45 kilograms, so it's also not the lightest tent in the world, especially for a three season tent. So you can use this from spring through to autumn. It should keep you nice and safe, protected, secure, comfortable, all of those things. But this tent is very famous for its space, its spaciousness. So hopefully we're gonna unpack all of this. We're gonna put some stuff inside as well, two people's worth of things, and we'll be able to see that actually it does have space. I mean, that's what they say, so we've got to have a look, right? So this really is a first impression tent. Um, this will be the first time of me putting it up as well, which is really exciting, hence why I wanted to film this. So I'll have a look at my first impressions and uh, leave you to sort of make a decision as to whether or not this is a tent that interests you. So we can see initially the pack size is really quite large. Um, I mean, for me, uh, you know, <laughs> a professional backpacker, if that's what I want to call myself, like I haven't used a tent with this bigger pack size in a long time. But you know, it's so good because you can just whip this on the bottom of your rucksack. It's kind of nice because you've got this little storage space here so you could put your poles in there if you wanted to. Um, it's actually a really decent bag. You've got a carry handle, which is also like a compression sack. You can pull that tighter. You've got another handle on the side here, which is super cool. And then you've got the toggle entry here. But the beauty of having a big stuff sack means it's actually quite easy to put in. And this tent is, is very well you know, known for being quite easy to put up and quite easy to pack away. And I like that because who wants to be faffing with a shelter? No one, you just want to be in it and you want to be chilling out. So there's also the Wild Country logo on here and just a little bit of information about it. Uh, so the weight, the um, type of uh, fabrics, which we're going to get to in a minute, uh, the range, the season, it's all just on here, all the information that I'm about to tell you. <laughs> so let's get this thing out. See, this is where it's nice. Hold the handle, yank it out, skidoosh. So, We've got a number of things that have come out here. Uh, let's actually just start with these guys since they're here. So these are the pegs. So it's quite a, a nice sizable peg bag. We have 15 pegs in here. They're an alloy. They're a really nice shiny red. They are a, a V shape. So I quite like that. I find V shapes quite easy to get in. Quite durable. I'm never going to be able to snap one of these um, unless I really get training. Better get on that. <laughs> uh, so you've got 15 pegs. You wouldn't really necessarily need this bag. Um, in fact, you could always just have an elastic band and that'll do the job. So plenty of space not gonna need to worry about that it comes with this really cute uh, owner's manual which i've never seen before just this little like ziploc bag oh which i <laughs> just broke <clears throat> <laughs> okay to be uh fixed at a later date so the ziploc bag which <laughs> is now um open <laughs> with an owner's manual so it's just got all about like how to pitch a tent um you know which eyelet should you use how to look after the zips accessories, spares, so it's kind of nice. So what they're really getting at is this is usually the first tent that people are gonna own. And uh, it's just got some really nice little tips and tricks in there. So it's nice that they've thrown that in, I feel. Of course, taking that out straight away, you're gonna save a couple of grams. So it's now a little bit lighter. <laughs> in here, we have the poles. So of course, for a tunnel design, as you see when it's up, that may or may not be a new phrase to you. Uh, we have two poles. So these are sort of these nice dark blue. I really like this dark blue, actually. Uh, I think they're 8.7 mil, you know, they're pretty standard tent poles. They're not even DAC, I don't think. Um, they're just, again, an alloy pole. They're really not the lightest pole you can get in the world, but they're going to be nice and strong and definitely do the job. So we'll see them in action in a minute. You've also got this little pole sleeve here. So just to help if, um, if a pole does happen to snap or bend or have a crack in it, you whip this on for reinforcement. Also just helps with threading. Uh, new poles in for replacement. So always nice you've got that actually and uh, I'm going to pop it back in the bag because I always lose those. <laughs> there is no, as far as I can see, no repair kit. You've not got any spare fabric that it comes with. Often it's in here but it's not so there is no repair kit. Um, so that's essentially everything you get and the tent itself, the tent fabric. So just roll it out. 
And that really is the best way to pack this thing away, by the way, is rolling it. <laughs> so we can see it's a sort of lighter green color. The, the Terra Nova style tents are often quite dark green. The wild country are reasonably light green. I mean, that's not an actual fact of a definition, it's just something I picked up on. Um, so this is made out of Storm X P4000 and then the ground sheet is Storm X P5000. We'll break that down in a little bit. It probably sounds like jargon and it is jargon. So we'll look at that in a second. Uh, we've got the guy lines. As you can see, there's a lot of tying off points to just help with the rigidity of this tent. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all I'm gonna talk about for now. I wanna get this thing put up and then we'll break down the specifications, the different features, and we'll get some kit in here and then leave you to make a conclusion towards the end. In order to pitch the tent, I started by pushing both poles through their pole sleeves. The poles were the same length, so it didn't matter which one went through which sleeve. Then I pegged out the tent at each end with two different pegging points, making sure to pull the tent nice and tight. To finish, I went round the tent and pegged out each guy line, again making sure the lines were nice and taut. Okay, the tent is up! So what you can see straight away is there are loads and loads of tying off points. There's 10, in fact. So you've got 10 tying off points, you've got two pegging out points, either end, so that's obviously the 14 uh, pegging out points, trying not to fall over the guy line. <laughs> uh, so it's really very easy to put up, but there's just a lot to do, a lot of pegs to use. So what's quite nice is basically once you've got the two end points in, you sort of got the 10 nice and taut, then you don't have to use all these guidelines. Uh, it sort of just depends on the conditions you're in. So um, you've got the two poles as well, and Really, that's kind of it. So we, we, if we come a little bit closer, actually. Sorry, Bob. So you can see here, we've got the one blue pole that we talked about, um, 8.5 millimeters. There's two points where we could um, put the pole in. So we can basically double this up if we wanted to, to make it a little bit more rigid and strong so that in storms or anything, uh, we can be a little bit more protected. That being said, it's pre-season 10. Likelihood of being in something that severe and knowing we're going to be in something that severe where we need essentially four poles is quite minimal. So I wouldn't really worry about that too much. But if you do want to make the tent a little bit tighter, you can just move it to the inner point there. Then we've got the guy lines. Yeah, I really just do get confused with why tents still use this sort of guy line system. I, I know they say it's like easy to use, but it's just not as easy as the um, sort of shark tooth one or the tiger tooth i don't know i switch animals depending on <laughs> what i'm talking about but that's like a really quick release this one is just you have that point and it's just fiddly to use with gloves if you want to tighten it um so essentially the quickest way to tighten it is just to move the peg further out that being said you know when you're pitching up the likelihood is you're going to hit a rock with that peg so having a quick release is, is much easier um it doesn't add any weight or take any weight either it's just the same piece of plastic just a different shape so i do find that a bit odd um especially as this is like a beginner backpacking tent so that's just something to consider that's definitely not a break in the deal kind of situation we'll come around the front here so we can see classic tunnel design we have this beautiful trip hazard here which is the uh central guy line point obviously it's not particularly tight right now i don't need it to be but then we have a door so this whole door here it's got a zip running all the way around so you can zip it all the way up come round, and come down and you can see what i've done here is i've tied it off it's got tying off points with little toggles so you can just keep it out the way and i really like that because you can just have this out, out open looking out on the view be like oh nice mountains over there you know and then you've got this massive porch space which actually if i don't suffocate myself on the central guy rope i can sit in like it's it's ground is so wet i'm gonna sit inside um it it's very spacious. <laughs> okay, Bobby is good. <laughs> so you could sit here, you know, you do your cooking here really nice and easy. We'll get some kit in in a minute. But there's space for like rucksacks on one side, cooking stuff on the other side. This is a two person tent. They have got it in a three person tent version. You can get a footprint. So actually, you could sit in this with a footprint. It sort of just adds that added layer of protection. So there's a lot you can do here. Um, and I like that. You know, as they say, it's got good, good head height. We'll get in in a second. Um, and it's very spacious, which is really, really nice. So I mentioned that the inner and outer can be pitched together or the outer can be pitched separately. We saw the pole sleeve. It's also really nice because the way this tent is attached is there's just loads of little clips. You know, you've got your, your waist belt clip on your rucksack. There's loads of those all the way around. So very, very easy, glove compatible, clip them up and then you can pull them tight so you can adjust the tightness all the way around, around the front and around the back, which is so nice because you've not got any saggy fabric, which is just, bane of my life um, and then what you've got where well, you've got the pole points the base of each um, 
the side, each corner, so sort of the four corners, it has got another pole point. So you sort of stretch that blue piece of fabric out, you clip it under the pole, and then again, every point is really nice and tight. And you'll see that because we're gonna jump inside now and have a look at some of the features there. When this one's ready to wake up at least. <laughs> Okay, so we're inside. You can see I can very easily sort of sit up. I'm not sat up perfectly, obviously, and I've kept my boots outside for simplicity right now. So it's really nice because we have this big oval shaped door, which if I just do up to say goodbye, you can see through the top here, we've got mesh. So that's just gonna help a little bit with the breathability. But that being said, in a tunnel design like this, generally I leave the top part open. It's just, unless you've got serious bug issues, keep things open, it really does help with condensation. Um, there's absolutely going to be space for two roll mats in here, space for some kit. It's really nice. On each side here, there's a very, very decent sized pocket. So you can see you can get not one, but two and a bit hands in there. I mean, I do have weirdly small hands though. <laughs> and of course, there's your fire and ventilation precautions sticker, which has to be in there in every single tent. Worth having, but if you're looking to save a gram, you can chop that out. As long as you know the rules. Coming to the back, you've got a little vent here. And as we saw with the guy line underneath that sheet of fabric, there is also a vent there. So if I'm honest with you, the venting in this tent isn't amazing. I wouldn't be surprised if you do end up getting quite heavy condensation. We'll see when we take it out and about. But the nice thing is, you know, if you look at the side of the tent there, the uh, fabric doesn't come right down to the bottom of the ground. So you're gonna get a bit of airflow there. You can keep the doors somewhat open. They don't need to be completely shut. So you've got options to aid the ventilation. It is just very nice to have all of this space. I mean, if this was a one-person tent, you're going to be rolling around laughing. It is pretty decent in terms of size. So all we're going to do to wrap this thing up is get some kit in here. Anna will probably come in as well. We'll just have a look at what it's like with two people in here. Two people and a very sleepy dog. <laughs> and uh, then we'll wrap this thing up. <laughs> Sorry, Bob, I have to move again. okay so we've got some kit in here and the dog as always <laughs> with his wild hoodie on so you can see we've got one roll mat two roll mats we've still got plenty of space space in between as well haven't put the other sleeping bag out just so you can see sort of how we can fit there's there's foot space at the bottom there's head space at the top this is really rather luxurious let's dive in anna's here so we're in the tent how do you find it big nice and big actually yeah, yeah it feels very roomy yeah it is yeah. so you're six one yeah. do you mind just sitting up for us yeah so at least in the highest point here i mean it's not like you're you can stretch your back and spine but i don't know am i even touching the the outer <sighs> Can you? I don't think so. Mm, I don't think so either. No. So it's. Uh, so you have a little bit of give to do that, yeah. even. Yeah. There's no. I uh, can't see what my hand. <laughs> There's no cord running from the top here to the back, so you can't like string up a washing but line. But then you have loops, so you could. You could probably. make. Not on that end, though. No? No, yeah. that's the door <laughs> loop. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is pretty much how you operate in these tents, is just <laughs> roll around. <laughs> but generally speaking, you know, if we lie down now, um, we'll be able to see sort of how the space situation is. So here we go. So you're lying down. So you've got a little bit of foot room. I mean, it depends if you want your head or your feet down there. But there's basically six one. There's plenty of space, isn't there? This is yeah. not suffocating at all. No, no, not at which all. Which is really nice. So yeah, it's in a pillowage. That's it. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> okay, great. Your work here is done. Also, that is quite disturbing. That. <laughs> so, okay, so we can see as well in the porch here. We've got just my pack but you can easily stack a pack on top of the pack there um those are anna's boots my hiking boots. <laughs> hiking boots these are my hiking boots so you could have your boots here um or wherever you've got space for some cooking stuff got a stove of course spend more time in the wild mug absolute must i mean that is the camping dream right there food bag whatever there is space to do things here which is really really nice all right so i think it's time to wrap this thing up uh we both agree it's quite spacious we both agree it's very quick and easy to put up um it's really just a very simple tent there's not yeah. a lot to it it's very uncomplicated very straightforward yeah mm. the only things for me you know that I, I i've sort of taken away i think the guideline system could be a bit better it's very old school i just think we should be moving away from that 
um, especially when you've got cold fingers and people who don't necessarily want to be outside. Uh, just a really quick guideline system is something to think about. Not the most ventilation opportunities in here, certainly towards the back end of the tent. Um, there's nothing you can unzip, no access points. So it's purely the door essentially is your ventilation point. Um, and that's kind of it. So it's not the best, but on the plus side, there is plenty of space, plenty of inside space, plenty of porch space, plenty of ways to tighten this fabric. So you're not really going to have to be up against it if there is condensation. And, uh, I mean, it's not the lightest tent either, but if you split it between two people, it's not too sad. Mm. 2.45, 2.45. And you get, you get good room for that. And exactly. Mm. So, you know, someone could have the tent fabric, someone could have the poles and pegs or whatever, you know, split it up. So there's ways of managing that. It's very different when you're operating as a solo hiker. So that's kind of it, I think. Anything else you'd like to add? No, the tent doesn't come with a bob. Doesn't come with a dog, unfortunately. He is ours. Where is he? There he is. He is party. He is just like me. He wants to be hidden. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you think of this tent. Leave it in the comments below. Uh, but wherever you are next, enjoy your adventures and stay, stay wild. wild. See you soon. <laughs>